Hello pool players, Ron here. Got a great video for you guys tonight. This one's going to be very helpful for you that are struggling with your rail shots. I'm not only going to show you how to aim them, but I'm going to show you how to make one that's almost impossible to shoot. But if you know how to do it, it's not that difficult. Now, first of all, we're going to go ahead and pocket this seven in this corner by going rail first, but the nine ball is a bit in the way. And we're also going to gain position to the eight after we pocket the seven. Now, one of the problems with this, like I just said, is when we look at the angle in and we look at the angle out, we see that the nine ball is going to be just in the way for our cue ball to pass through to be able to pocket this seven. And this is what I want to cover too. When we look at these shots, don't just look at them from back there and try to shoot them. Come over to the spot where the rail is going to be contacted. Look at the angle in and look at the angle out. The angle in needs to be equal to the angle out. Okay, now the angle out also has to be to the ghost ball position. Ghost ball position, if we use this as a cue ball, would be like right there. So this angle in and this angle out, that's where your cue ball needs to be. But if the nine ball is so close, it won't come by it, it's gonna clip it. So let's go ahead and test that out and see if that happens. I like to use running spin, typically, on a rail first shot, by the way, and that'll gain me good position on this eight, no problem. Running spin is just left spin. So I'm looking at that spot on the rail where I see angle in, angle out, and that's where I'm gonna shoot. And I know I'm going to clip that nine on the way off the angle out. See that? There's just no way. You cannot pocket that shot that way. So now, let's go ahead and reset this. And what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to shoot further down table. So now I'm going to take a look. Instead of coming angle in and hitting the, the seven like I think I need to, I'll, I'll shoot further down the cushion. Problem with that is I'm going to hit the seven too full. So watch what happens here. I won't hit the nine, but I surely won't make the seven either. See, I drive it just right straight into the cushion. So let me show you the secret of this shot. I, almost, I call this kind of a, it's almost like a trick shot, but it's not really. It's an easy shot. All we have to do is just make sure that we use just draw. No side spin, just draw. And let me tell you, there's a secret to it. You, you want to hit it a little bit firmer, and that spin is going to shorten this angle out. So once again, remember the angle in, and remember the angle out? We're going to see the same angle in, and actually we're going to aim it a little bit different. I'll talk about that in a second. But then we're going to look at the angle out as being coming through this opening. So it's going to defy the laws of physics, basically, and it's going to change the path of this cue ball, and it's going to come through that opening and pocket that seven with no problem. So if we look at this, that's our no normal angle in, angle out. I'm going to shoot a little further down table. I want to come into more here so that I have room to clear the nine and then change that outward angle, shorten it up, and come through here and clip that seven in. So this is how this shot looks. I want to hit it with a little bit more pace. and we're gonna get shape on that eight with no problem. A Little bit tricky getting it by that side pocket, but I hit it perfect. These are shots that you can really learn if you do this. You see how I've marked these two spots with paper enforcements? Mark the cue ball as well. The reason I do this, just so you guys know, and this is gonna tremendously help you improve much quicker, you'll be able to experiment and you'll be able to not chase your tail in circles. It's too complicated, this game. You have to um, set up the scenario where you have a controlled environment. The controlled environment is when we have our marked spots and we experiment with different spin and speed on the cue ball to pull off shots like that, okay? I promise you, if you do this, you're gonna be like big time better faster. <laughs> That's the best way I can put it. I just had, want to make this short video. Remember this, just to reiterate, when you come back over here to line these shots up, 
make sure, whoops, got the wrong balls out here. Let's get this back where it goes. Make sure that you come in and look at this angle. If this ball is back further, no problem. You can make that all day long. But when it gets too close to the seven, you better be using some draw to get back through there, okay? If you guys have any questions or comments, leave in the comments section below. I'll answer everyone. Thanks for watching, and once again, like I always say, keep on practicing.